everyone welcome to our youtube channel if you are new to this channel please subscribe our channel and do not forget to like share and comment this video today we are here with a new video of engineering survey and topic is trilateration and triangulation let's start with the introduction the horizontal positions of points in a network developed to provide accurate control for topographic mapping, charting lakes, rivers, and ocean coast lines, and for the surveys required for the design and construction of public and private works of large extent. The horizontal positions of the points can be obtained in a number of different ways and are traversing, triangulation, trilateration, intersection, resection, and satellite positioning. A combined triangulation and trilateration system consists of a network of triangles in which all the angles and the lengths are measured. Such a combined system represents the strongest network for creating horizontal control. Triangulation It is the process of measuring the angles of a chain or network of triangles formed by stations marked on the surface of the earth. The system consists of a number of interconnected triangles in which the length of only one baseline and the angles of triangles are measured very precisely which are used to calculate the coordinate of vertices. Principle of triangulation If all the three angles and the length of one side of a triangle are known, then by trigonometry, the lengths of the remaining sides of the triangle can be calculated. Again, if the coordinates of any vertex of the triangle and azimuth of any side are known, then coordinates of the remaining vertices may be computed. In a certain interval, check lines are measured to compare its computed length and check out the error. The lengths of the sides are calculated by using sine rule sine a upon a is equal to sine b upon b is equal to sine c upon c in this figure ac is equal to b is equal to c into sine b upon sine c and bc is equal to a is equal to c into sine a upon sine c from the triangle abc as shown above av is the baseline whose length is known by measurement. All the angles are also measured. Now, other sides of the triangles are computed as follows. Now, computed sides BC and CA are used as the baseline for computation of other triangles. For example, AC is used as baseline to compute the lengths of sides AD and CD in next triangle ADC. Objectives of triangulation surveys. The main objective of triangulation is to provide a number of stations whose relative and absolute positions, horizontal as well as vertical, are accurately established. More detailed location or engineering survey is then carried out from these stations. The triangulation surveys are carried out number one to establish accurate control for plane and geodetic surveys of large areas by terrestrial methods number two to establish accurate control for photogrammetric surveys of large areas number three to assist in the determination of the size and shape of the earth by making observations for latitude longitude and gravity and number four to determine accurate locations of points in engineering work such as fixing center line and abutments of long bridges over large rivers, fixing center line, terminal points and shafts for long tunnels, transferring the control points across wide sea channels, large water bodies, etc., detection of crustal moments and finding the direction of the moment of clouds. Classification of triangulations The basis of the classification of triangulation figures is the accuracy with which 
the length and azimuth of a line of a triangulation are determined. On the basis of quality, accuracy and purpose, triangulations are classified as primary or first order triangulation, secondary or second order triangulation, tertiary or third order triangulation. Number A. Primary or first order triangulation. It is the highest grade of triangulation system. To determine the shape and size of Earth's surface or to provide precise planimetric control points to which subsidiary triangulations may be connected. Stations of first order triangulation are generally selected 16 to 150 km apart. Every possible precursor is taken in making linear, angular and astronomical observations and also in their computation. Number 2. Secondary or second order triangulation. The secondary triangulation consists of a number of points fixed within the framework of primary triangulation to provide control points closer together than those of primary. Secondary is classified if primary does not attain standard of accuracy. The stations are fixed at close intervals so that the sizes of the triangles formed are smaller than the primary triangulation. Number 3. Tertiary or third order triangulation. Employed to provide control points between stations of primary and second order series the third order triangulation consists of a number of points fixed within the framework of secondary triangulation and forms the immediate control of detailed engineering and other surveys. The sizes of the triangles are small and instrument with moderate precision may be used. For topographical details, tertiary triangulation forms immediate control points. Layout of triangulation. The arrangement of the triangles of a series is known as the layout of triangulation. A series of triangulation may consist of one single triangles in chain, number two double chain of triangles, number three braced quadrilateral and number four centered triangles and polygons. Number one simple triangles in chain. This layout of triangulation is generally used when control points are provided in narrow strip of terrain such as valley between ridges, rapid and economical due to less number of stations to be sighted. Do not provide independent check. Check base lines and astronomical observations for azimuth at frequent intervals. Double chain of triangles used for covering the larger width of a belt which is shown in figure. Braced quadrilateral. It consists of figures containing four corner stations and observed diagonals. Triangles are overlapped. Best arrangement of triangles as it provides a means of computing the lengths of sides using different combinations of sides and angles as shown in figure. Centered triangles and polygons. It consists of figures containing centered polygons and centered triangles used when vast area in all dimensions is required to be covered. Figures are quadrilaterals, pentagons or hexagons with central stations. Trilateration, a serving method in which the Lengths of all sides of a chain of triangles, polygons or quadrilaterals or any combination of them are measured with an electronic instrument or others. The angles then may be computed from these field measurements. Uses in the construction of a chain or network of interconnected triangles in a given area and the measurement of all three sides of each triangle. Angles of the triangle and the coordinates of their vertices are determined by trigonometric computations. In contrast to triangulation, it does not involve the measurement of angles. Trilateration has the same purpose as triangulation. 
principle of trilateration. In trilateration, no angular measurements are done, but three sides of the triangles are measured precisely by using measuring instruments such as EDM. After knowing all the sides of a triangle, all the angles of the triangle can be computed by using either tangent rule or cosine rule. Sometimes a few horizontal angles are also measured to provide a check on computed angles. Cosine rule Cos A is equal to B square plus C square minus A square upon 2BC. Cos B is equal to A square plus C square minus B square upon 2AC. Cos C is equal to A square plus B square minus C square upon 2AB. Tangent rule tan A by 2 is equal to under root S minus B, S minus C upon S into S minus A. Tan B by 2 is equal to under root S minus A, S minus C upon S into S minus B. Tan C by 2 is equal to under root S minus A into S minus B upon S into S minus C. In this way, by knowing the lengths and angles, bearings and hence the coordinates of each station vertices of triangles can be calculated. Now, the uses of trilateration used for control survey in high precision engineering projects such as dams, bridges, highways, railways, trilateration can be used. The moment of Earth's crust due to seismic or tectonic activities can be studied. Deformation surveys of dam, geothermal areas and landslides are studied. Used in control of expansion or densification of future growth of the area. Used to test and construct defense and scientific facilities. Geometric figures in trilateration. These are the figures in trilateration. The shapes used for trilateration should be well shaped and well conditioned. Precision in trilateration. Standard of accuracy for geodetic control survey as recommended by the Federal Geodetic Control Committee FGCC of the USA are followed. Based on accuracy, trilateration is divided into following three types. First order, second order, third order. Second order is of two types, class 1 and class 2. And third order is also of two types, class 1 and class 2. First order is mainly used for primary horizontal control, which provides the framework of national network. Second order, class 1, used to connect first order trilateration and its expansion. Second order, class 2, is used in photogrammetic projects, large scale subdivisions and construction projects. Third order, class 1, and class 2 are commonly used for providing supplementary control. Third order accuracy is also used in small engineering projects, construction surveys, hydrographic and topographic surveys. Specification of three categories of trial attrition. Characteristics, spacing of principal stations. For first order trial attrition, it should be 10 km. For second order trial attrition, class 1 should be 1 km and class 2 should be 0.5 km. Third order trial attrition, class 1 should be 0.5 km and class 2 0.25 km. Spacing for other stations, for first order trial attrition, it should be 3 km. For second order trial attrition, class 1 1 km and class 2 0.5 km. Three, minimum angle. For first order trial iteration, it should be 25 second. For second order trial iteration, class 1 should be 25 second and class 2, 20 second. Third order trial iteration, class 1 should be 20 second and class 2, 15 second. Number 4, standard error of length measurement. For first order trial iteration, it should be 1 in 10 to the power 6. Second order trial iteration, class 1. 1 in 7.5 into 10 to the power 5 and for class 2 1 in 4.5 into 10 to the power 5 for third order trial iteration class 1 
1 in 2.5 into 10 to the power 5 and for class 2 1 in 1.5 into 10 to the power 5. Number 5. Closer in position after satisfying geometric condition. For a first order triangle iteration, 1 in 10 to the power 5. Second order trial iteration class 1, 1 in 5 into 10 to the power 4. For class 2, 1 in 2 into 10 to the power 4. For third order trial iteration class 1, 1 in 10 to the power 4. For class 2, 1 in 5 into 10 to the power 3. Advantages and disadvantages. Advantages of trial iteration is highly accurate and also superior to triangulation survey. Trial iteration is economic as compared to triangulation. Number of person involvement is less. It provides scale control which is not possible in triangulation. It is not necessary to measure all the lines from the station simultaneously and all the angles at a time. Disadvantages of Trilateration. It has a small number of internal checks as compared to triangulation. The number of checks in a breast quadrilateral is only one as compared to four in triangulation. Trilateration cannot be used in situations where precise angle measurement must be taken to intersect reference points or offsets. In such situations, a combined of triangulation and trilateration is used requires large number of reflectors in trilateration it is more expensive than traversing for the establishment of horizontal control points thank you for watching video do not forget to subscribe our channel keep updating for new videos